So there's a but. So it's basically kind of like a, like a soul, like a guitar solo too. Okay. So now Nick or somebody, maybe Eric is going to hit the cheat that turns off the drums, and we will have a blank track. And there it goes. Okay. So um, so the first thing that uh, Nick's going to do is just play, hold down any fret and play a tone. And so you know, if he just hits any fret uh, and strums once, he gets a sustained tone. If he uses the high buttons, which are the ones closer to the guitar body, he gets higher tones. If he up strums, he gets a bent note. And you can kind of go back and forth between the straight and the bent ones in a tasty way. So that's kind of like the like the baseline behavior if you just like, you know, hit a fret and strum it. Now we get to the fun stuff. If Nick holds down two or more frets, any frets, and strums eighth notes, like up and down strums, he gets a lick. And if you listen to the lick, you can hear it modulating over the, the, the key of the song. Now, if he double times his strum, he'll get a fast version of the same lick. If he plays the same lick on the high frets, he gets it an octave up. So you basically kind of have like this two by two matrix of like fast, slow, low, high to play any lick. And then every single fret combination plays its own unique lick, which then you can memorize them all and use them however you please. And there's about there's like 25 unique combinations. Yeah, so when you're saying fret combinations, if you notice what he was just doing, he's not, it's not just two button combinations, he's three buttons, he's the four button combinations. Right. There's a lot of uh, depth there. And then we got some special case kind of cool stuff to lay over the top of that. Like if he hits any sustained tone and then uh, tilts the neck up, he gets feedback. Which you can learn here, of course. So that's like incredibly satisfying. <laughs> uh, and then also he can do Eddie Van Halen style finger tap. If he just holds that down a note, he can use his, his free hand just to tap out melodies. And again, the game keeps it in tune and keeps it in time with the song. All you have to do is tap. And then there's one kind of cool Easter egg thing that you can point out to people. If you just mash all five buttons, you get Hendrix-style like, guitar noise. <laughs> Which you can then play. Okay, so that's the basics. Like, that's like the mechanics of how it works. Um, and now we're going to show you how it fits into a song and how we score you. Cool. Uh, so, uh, Nick, uh, so Nick. <laughs> so, <yeah>. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting word that your mic is crackly. Crackly. Uh, I your mic it's, out, it's out completely. Oh, well, so, well, you know, yeah, we'll you guys. Kind of a time <laughs> yeah, we can all fit on yeah. the, the love okay. seat. Can I, can I uh, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, this, well, actually, we all fit. <laughs> We're all kind of like huddled behind the giant Nick Chester that, that looms over us. Um, actually like the piece that um, you know I think certainly in a lot of the, the forum feedback that we've read you know I think that's one of the questions on people's minds is like how do I how do I play this in the context of, of the game where's the skill yep. how does this actually change the experience and so um, yeah so, it, so there, it's important there's, there's a lot know, of depth yeah that for people who might have joined while we were giving that portion of the demo that was just a cheat we were doing so we could just illustrate the the depth of the system what that didn't have any of the gameplay elements on top of it so what Nick's doing now is playing in the context of a song so you can see what the actual gameplay layer is so you can see uh, that it's not just like that freestyle tour that he was kind of playing with. And so basically the way that works, and that's coming up pretty soon in the song, is 
uh, we prompt you for like whether or not you should play fast or slow licks or sustained licks or low or high frets. But in terms of the specific um, licks that you choose, that's really up to you. So it's actually pretty challenging to keep up with the prompts. Um, but within those constraints, you can basically do whatever you want. You know, so it's, it's like a pretty nice balance between giving you some freedom to play the way you want to play, uh, but still giving you enough cues to kind of craft like a good song. Yeah, uh, and I think what, what's nice about that is that it sort of continues a bit of the authored element that people like about harmonics is the, the, the solo gameplay is still authored in terms of what we're suggesting we play for that part of the solo. So whether you're going from low on the fret to high on the frets to sustains and uh, feedback, it's sort of helping to, to suggest a good sounding solo. Right? This part with like dynamic range. I think one of the one of the challenges for for to make some the development of this kind of a of a mode is we don't necessarily want to have sort of a, a, a bad performance sound bad, right? You know, it's like this the skill is all a function of, of score chasing and kind of understanding the system and not so much like do you sound like you know what you're doing or not. And, and I think that's that to me, you know, when you're talking about sort of an approach from 2004 to now, what I love about our approach is that we're, we've sort of solved the like subjectivity of it. You always sound good regardless of whether you know what you're doing or not. And yet, a lot of the depth comes in when you sort of understand the system and understand how things work. Totally, and it's, it's worth pointing out that like uh, we know a lot of you know our, our core players really do want to be scored and want like something to, to strive for achievement-wise. So we built a fair amount of challenge into it, but it's kind of up to every player whether or not they care about that. If you just want to go off the rails and just like, play your own solo, you are totally free to do that. You won't get as many points. But what we anticipate, well, we can't wait to, like, oh, here it comes. Okay, I'm going to suspend my comments to explain <laughs> this. So the star field, that means you can do whatever you want. Uh, the orange colors mean the high frets. There's the high sustain. There's the star field. You can do whatever you want. The blue is the low frets. And then you can see both, like, so, like two size grid lines. The tight ones are 16 nodes. There's one of the sustain. That's eighth note mix. There's some tapping. There you have it. Boom. So nice solo. That by was Nick good. Chester. It was, Sounded it was, great. It was really good. Uh, so it, many points. Yes. You might have noticed while he was doing those different phrases, whether he got them on, in time or not, his he, he he would lose or maintain his streak, which is another bit of like the gameplay element coming into play there. Um, and I know people will ask this, so I will ask that this for them. Uh, the point value, do you get more points? For doing that solo versus the authored solo, or or the opposite, we are still messing with that because we know, like, one of the things that we know is that a lot, you know, the the serious like score oriented players, uh, like, want to. What we've heard on the forums and like face to face is that people really want to preserve the the original behavior of like. I don't. No, I'm not sure if I'm into this new freestyle guitar yeah, solo yeah. thing. I just want to play the authored solo. That is still available, right. and you can still basically max out your score in the traditional rock band way. And what was nice about the event we did at E3, we did a community party with a lot of maybe some folks that are watching right now, and they can they can chime in in the chat. Is that there were a lot of like really heavy rock band fans that love what we've done with rock band over the years, and maybe were a little skeptical. And it was super nice to see them come away uh, really loving the freestyle solo functionality. I mean, I, I love the idea anyway that there's a little bit of kind of tactical decision making around whether or not you want to go for the hard solo or, or, or play uh, your own solo. That, that, that actually is a gameplay decision that you're making sort of in the moment. Um, 
Based right, on... we're enabling people to, to make that decision right. in the moment inside the song itself, right? Yeah. Like, even, it's a toggle, basically. Based on where you are with your streak or, you know, how many points are there in the guitar solo. Um... So, what Nick has just done is jumped into one of our newly announced Rock Band 4 songs, The Warrior by Scandal. Uh, he also used a dev cheat to skip to the solo section. This song is not as short as it's about to be. Um, just to show you another solo section of the game. And I guess the thing that is, it, like, you have to try it for yourself, but it's really hard to express until you get a chance to try it. It's like just how fun it is. It really makes you feel like a huge badass. Yep. Which is, I think, the thing that we're proudest of is it really kind of it feels like you're playing an amazing guitar song. Well, what I think is really great is it's it's the missing piece of the puzzle for Rock Band. Like you said, you've been working on it for over 10 years at this point. Like, in a perfect world, you would have had this in Rock Band 1 if you had had the time to really sit and work with the system, right? Like, this is that missing piece of creativity and player expression for people. Um, and what I think is really special about that that you would not find it if had any other studio made this game you don't have that 10 plus years of experience on this product trying to do this thing and like that's something only harmonics can do like these are veterans that have worked on all of these games daniel's been here since since the world was invented and so is greg uh and that's not a thing that many other studios can say when they're working on like a traditional sequel so it's pretty cool yeah, I will say there's a ton of tech and a ton of design insight that has gone into this. It took us a really long time to figure out how to put all the pieces together and get to actually sound you know, like a guitar and give you the right amount of flexibility to choose to do what you want to do, yep. but, but without, you know, but always sound good. Oh, you're coming back, back to the couch, huh? Back. This is 